Another vaccine may soon be on the way. The U.S. rollout so far has only included vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer, as you know, but by the end of the month, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine could be approved. Tracy A. McPeer tells us what makes it different. So far, two mRNA vaccines have been approved and administered across the U.S. by Moderna and Pfizer. But on the horizon is Johnson & Johnson's vaccine, and Dr. Phil Santangelo says it's entirely different. They use an actual virus, so they use a virus, an adenovirus, so they took a version that's really very mellow, <laughs> that's uh, not going to make you sick, and they uh, basically engineered it so that it expresses that spike protein also from, from COVID. Santangelo says this adenovirus platform has its advantages, like not having to be stored in a deep freeze and only requiring one dose. But is this type of vaccine as effective? It's like the Johnson Johnson was a little lower. It looked that way, at least at first, uh, not that much lower and probably not enough that I think is going to matter. St. Angelo says news of new strains from the UK and South Africa does cause concern, mostly because they're more contagious. He predicts vaccines will also change to combat them more effectively. So it's very easy to go make those changes. These viruses have been sequenced. Once you have the sequence, it's trivial to make those changes in an mRNA or in the or in the adeno construct. And he says we may even need to take the vaccine more often. Uh, I think there are some folks that do think that we could see maybe, if not yearly, maybe every couple of years, a new coronavirus vaccine. I could see that happening. Some people have suggested double or even triple mask to protect yourself from the more contagious variant strains. San Angelo says more barriers is a good idea, but only if it's comfortable enough for you to keep them on.